Welcome to another home economics online class. Today you're going to be making pumpkin soup. And this recipe makes soup for one person. There you go. This is what you're making and the cream is optional. So you will need the following ingredients. A small piece of pumpkin, some parsley, some noodle soup mix, half an onion, half a potato and two cups of water and a pinch of pepper. You will need the following equipment. A saucepan, a chef knife, a spoon and a potato peeler. So begin by removing the seeds from the pumpkin and I like to use a spoon and just scoop it out like that. Now you're going to peel the pumpkin. Like so. Now we're going to chop the pumpkin up into small pieces Try and get them roughly about the same size, about a centimetre squared. Watch your fingers. We've done knife skills, so put your hand like a claw. and everything into the saucepan. Now peel the potato and you're going to wash and then cut the potato roughly to about the same size pieces as the pumpkin. And now you're going to peel and chop the onion top and tail, remove the skin of the onion and slice into the onion as demonstrated. So making very thin cuts. Don't go all the way through and then horizontal cuts. Then using your hand like a claw, you're going to chop the onion into small pieces and this goes into the pan as well. If you need to make them a little bit smaller just place your hand on top and use the rocking action and into the pan. Now add the noodle mix to the water, stir, and you're going to add that to the pan. Now you're going to bring the water to the boil, add a little bit of pepper. You're gonna bring the water to the boil and then when it starts to boil, you will turn the heat down. So add some fresh herbs. So when, it bo when the water boils, you turn the heat down, put the lid on and let it simmer. After about 15 minutes, test it with a fork and there should be no resistance. And once you can poke the fork through the pumpkin or the potato, try a few different pieces, you're going to remove it from the stove. Okay, so we're going to use a stab blender um, and it's very sharp. So make sure that the pan is secure on the bench and when you're using the stab blender, 
put it right into the soup. Don't pull it out when switched on, otherwise the soup will go everywhere and it could burn you. So be very careful. So pushing down, switching on. Keep blending until the soup is smooth. And to wash the stab blender, make sure that the power cord is out of the way. Now you're going to make some garlic bread. So peel the garlic, top and tail, and then using the side of the knife to press will help to loosen the skin. So remove the skin. Um, a teaspoon of butter, a teaspoon of fresh parsley mixed together and the garlic, place it in a garlic press and squeeze. and then mix it all together. So here's the bread roll. Refer to the bread making recipe if you want to make the bread roll, but if you just want to make the garlic bread, just add the garlic butter to a bread roll and then you're going to wrap it in foil and place it in the oven, a warm oven, for about 10 minutes. And serve. Here is the soup. You could add a small amount of cream on the top just for decoration and an extra flavor. Enjoy.